Gretchen Valley event vlog and in this episode we're going to talk about morning routine and how it can benefit your life. So first of all, I want to talk about drinking water and why it is so important. Actually, I encourage you to look it up for yourself. Because it is going to give you so many health benefits. Uh, in the morning, I'm just going to share my personal experience, but when I drink water in the morning and when I drink water before going to bed, I feel just overall so much better. I have more energy um, and I want to encourage you to pay attention and this is going to sound gross, but if you don't go to the bathroom in the morning, especially like both ways, <laughs> well, I don't know if it sounded, well, it's not going to sound very scientific. But I'm just gonna say that if you are not going to the bathroom in the morning, it means that it's somewhere in your body and um, you know about toxins, right? And you know about how if whatever is coming with food, if it's not coming out, well, that's not a very good thing. Things might not hurt, but um, when, they, when something hurts, it's usually worst case scenario and if you're not feeling energized if you're not feeling positive if you're about life if you feel like you're depressed or have any kind of other physical um challenge it means that you're not eating right you're not drinking enough water that being said water is super important if you start drinking water in the morning and before you go to bed and you see results please comment um, below if you see changes and when you see changes, what has changed. About the amounts of water, again, do your personal research because we're all unique individuals and everybody needs a very specific amount depending on their height and weight. Number two is physical activity. Any kind of exercise or any kind of physical activity in the morning is going to make your day so much better because as we all know physical activity again look it up how physical exercise can not only keep you in a good shape but it also can improve your mood it can lower stress and so much more if you have time or better say if you make time in the morning to go outside and just walk or if you can get yourself a mini trampoline and jump, or if you can do some yoga. It doesn't even have to be a long routine. It can be five minutes, but those five minutes can improve your physical well-being by a whole lot. So I am doing that, and I can tell you from my personal experience that it has been doing miracles for me, and I know that if you're not doing that just yet, try it and again, share it in the comments below how it works for you because I know that it is a really great habit to have. Number three is my favorite. It's basically do something in the morning that either educates you or entertains you or puts some spiritual food in your body. What I mean by that is you want to start your day with some kind of productive thinking and of course it's really great to make plans and lists and all that good stuff but other than that it's really really cool to just feed yourself some kind of messages that can make your day better. I love reading the scriptures in the morning. I also like looking up some good news there's so many lessons online um on a variety of different subjects that can be interesting to watch and at the same time can answer your questions for the day if you have a question it helps you to ponder and think about the important things in life and why they're important and um, whenever something happens throughout the day it helps you not to get discouraged not to get upset um 
choose not to be stressed because again, stress is a choice. And if you wanna live a happy, productive life, then you don't wanna be stressed out. I actually recently read it and that's why this number three is so important is because depression comes from not us not being excited about what's coming and that's why we don't want to get up in the morning and we don't want to do anything because we are not excited about what's going to happen today or what's going to happen in the week or what's going to happen in the month and um, I also figured one very important factor is if this excitement depends on somebody or something um, then it's really easy to get depressed but if your goal depends on you and your motivation you can always get yourself back up uh, and back on track because you can just again look up an inspirational video at TED talk somebody who has serious serious struggles and challenges in life overcoming those like i like to see people that have uh, extreme challenges but they've made their lives happy because they made a choice that hey you know yeah i have a physical condition or i have mental condition or whatever my condition is i i know that this is my challenge for maybe the whole life or maybe just um some time in my life but this is not going to bring me down and I'm actually going to go out there and make my life awesome and bring that happiness, fulfillment and love to other people. And that's when, um, like Sean Stevenson, like the other guy, I forgot his name, but he's basically, he was, I think he was born without limbs. Um, and he has like this one little leg, but he's learned how to surf and he has a gorgeous wife and four kids. I believe his name is Nick. And I forgot his last name, but I posted uh, his story on Nelly Evans. So if you can scroll on Facebook and you'll find um, you'll find the story of this guy. Look up good stuff that will put a smile on your face and will get you excited about the day. Those are my little tips. Um, I hope they help. And please leave me a comment below what you think. Uh, what kind of routine do you have in the morning? And what do you think? you could improve in order to be a happier person and live your life to your full potential. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support on Patreon. Have a great life, live your dreams, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.